Hi, my name's Dylan with Halogen Systems, and today I'm going to introduce, introduce you to our ballast water line of sensors. Uh, we can break down our sensors into two different categories. We have non-hazardous locations and hazardous locations. Non-hazardous locations are um, any locations where we are not in a flammable environment, we're not transporting any LPG, any sort of gas, anything like that. And then our hazardous location sensors have ICEX and ATEX approval and are certified for operation within hazardous locations. The primary difference that you'll notice between these two sensor types is the overall length, hazardous locations, and non-hazardous locations. The next difference is going to be obvious on the sensor end itself. Our non-hazardous location sensor end has a peak sensor end, while our hazardous locations sensor has a stainless steel sensor end. So I'm going to go ahead and break down our non-hazardous location sensors first. We have three different configurations. with the primary differences just being the flange location. So the configuration of these sensors is determined by installation type, which is the flange here, a no flange, a high flange, and a low flange. And I'll go ahead and go over the installation types on these. The first type is our no flange sensor, also known as a hot tap sensor. This sensor is built for installation directly into a ballast water pipe using a two inch ball valve. The common configuration for this sensor will be a valve adapter here and a valve union nut installed onto the one inch NPT connection on the top of the sensor. And then the last portion will be one of our types of junction box. We have three different types of junction box. We have a single gland junction box with an ABS plastic housing. We have a double gland junction box also with an ABS plastic housing. And then we have a stainless steel junction box with a single gland. We will be having a double gland version of this available soon. Now this is the last portion that would be installed on the sensor itself. And then this sensor would be installed into our ball valve here. And of course, this sensor will not be able to be installed without a union nut or a valve adapter. The valve adapter also has an O-ring here to maintain seal while installing or uninstalling in a pressurized system. Each one of our non-hazardous sensors also has two different versions. We have a version that has a pH reference, and then we have a version that has a, stain, a solid state reference electrode. The primary difference is the one with the pH offers pH measurement and pH compensation for changes in, P, in water pH uh, for our chlorine reporting. Our solid state reference has a fixed pH measurement and uses just a solid state reference, so we get one less parameter with the SSR sensors, as we call them. So we just went over the installation methods for the no flange sensor. The next one is a high flange sleeve. This is often installed into a ballast water pipe using our, val our mount adapter here, which has two inch NPT thread here and then our retaining collar thread here. This allows installation into any sort of standpipe, into um, anything basically with this two inch thread. Our sensor will be installed through here and then installed into the system using the retaining collar. The downside of this installation is that removal of the sensor is dependent on depressurizing the system while with our Hot tap versions, you can take the sensor in and out while the system is running or while there is water present. Here, you would not be able to do that unless you installed an inline valve. This sensor configuration can also be installed using one of our long chambers. This chamber is often used for a side stream replacement. 
such as if you're running a CLX within your system or another online DPD system. It's easy to swap out using the same size line as that is available on the CLXs, and it's just a good plug and play solution for retrofitting um, sensors. And we have two versions of this chamber. We have the long version and the short version. The primary difference between these is that this version obviously has less volume and will be paired with our low flange sensor sleeve, like so. And an important note on these is flow direction is important. So when installing these chambers, they will always be installed horizontally, like so, with the inlet on this side and the outlet coming this way. They also both come with a sample port for doing chlorine calibration, so you're able to pull water from the chamber that is representative of the chlorine and um, conditions within the chamber that the sensor is seeing. Both of these chambers can be used with our hazardous or non-hazardous location sensors. Our hazardous location sensors have the same sleeve configurations with a low flange version, a high flange version, and a no flange version. And they will use the same adapters here. We also have the mount adapter. We have specific mount adapters and valve adapters for various systems. So be sure to reach out to your technical team to determine which one is applicable for you. For our EX sensors, we also offer a off-the-shelf EX junction box. Any explosion-proof rated junction box with ICEX approval can be used with our sensors, as long as it has a one-inch NPT connection and has a uh, relevant certification as well. Uh, we sell these as part of the JBox EX kit and can be included within your order. Those are our ballast water sensors. We have six main sleeve configurations um, and they can be split into non-hazardous and hazardous locations. And then of course our non-hazardous locations can be split into pH and non-pH and then just determine based on your installation type. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our technical support or sales teams at tech at halogensys.com.